we just don't talk about somebody's, quote, religion, even if the religion involves beheading infidels and pouring boiling oil down their throats. And when I heard about the 12 people that were dead, the first thing that crossed my mind was, this guy's a Muslim. Well, well guess what? He is. Do you perimeter. think it's time for the military to have special debriefings of uh, Muslim army uh, civilian uh, officers, anybody enlisted? The people in the media are fundamentally on the, working for the other side. They may as well put on a uh, headscarf and start chanting to Allah themselves. We won't countenance special screenings for Muslim soldiers, will you? It's a violent political system bent on the overthrow of the governments of the world and, the, and, and world domination. All over the world, 85, 90 percent of all the violence and bloodshed is being perpetrated by the religion of peace. That's the truth. You're dealing with a, not a religion, you're dealing with a political system. And I think we should treat it as such and treat its adherents as such as we would members of the Communist Party or members of some fascist group. Maybe what Americans should do is broom the Muslims out of the, uh, out of the military. Franklin Roosevelt, uh, he interned the, the Japanese on the West Coast. What FDR did, it worked. No. It wasn't hard to comprehend, and it's not now. It was the act of an Islamist terrorist who gunned down 55 people, 54 people, uh, because he believed he was doing the will of Allah in accordance with the Quran. Not hard to understand the evidence is there. Where are the Southern Baptist suicide bombers? Where are the Methodist marketplace massacre types? Uh, it's clear that the problem is Islam.